I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I have no clue about anything that's happening regarding the small little details of how magic works. At a high level, I do understand that Index got her wound healed by summoning an angel and having the room kind of mimic what's on the table and somehow the frog thing, the voodoo doll like thing got healed and Index got healed but a lot of the different like specific mechanics and jargon is just going completely over my head but I think that is the point unless I'm supposed to read a light novel for that. Anyways, Index is fine. What's happening? Uh, Index is very cute as usual. Sensei is a 40 something year old that's living like a disgusting fucking meat but she's so cute so I don't care. Toma is walking somewhere, and another magician, I think, has basically prep-timed us. Kanzaki is showing up, the girl with the blade and the single leg with the jeans being ripped off. We're always getting baited by these prep-time Rooney using magicians. Let's see how we're gonna get out of this one. Index is really nice little recap. Do you want to walk into the depth of hell with me? Is that not pretty much asking for help? I don't know. Perfect memory ability. Panzakis? Uh-oh. Ruins again. Okay, just to keep people away. The girl mentioned by the other dude. The killer. Oh, that's right, that's right. Fortis some, 961 something was like Styx's like Styx or Stylix or Stylix's like a uh, mage name, right? So there's like a like there's like, you know, personal name, Japanese name, but then there's also a mage name. What could it be? Just Fortis but 972? <laughs> Just one extra integer? Yeah. No, you're not taking Index away. Index is mine. And this is the interesting part, and goddamn, they're really just drawing out all the curves. Our right hand can cancel out divine miracles, magic, esper abilities. But what about a sword? What about an actual weapon? I think my hand is gonna get sliced if I do that. Windblade. I feel like we could cancel out the windblade though. Leg shaken. Dude, I'd be terrified. I'd be both horny and terrified. Did she even draw her blade there? Seven flashes. Ten sto sword. Seven times. Oh my god. We would die seven times before we hit the ground. OP sword. OP technique. I didn't even see the sword leave the sheath. Yeah, can we cancel this? Steide. That's how you pronounce his name. Yes. Again, swords. I just have a feeling he's gonna grope her with the right hand. I just feel like some way, somehow, he's gonna end up trying to charge at her with his right hand and it's gonna end up on her titty, you know? It just feels like that's gonna happen no matter what. I just think about an old anime like this, I see the bus size, I see his right hand, like... It's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Yo, I'm still alive. I thought I'm supposed to die seven times. Is she going easy on us? I think she is. Indexes. <laughs> That's enough for me to walk into the depth of hell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. The wind blades also. This is... Not mat it's sword techniques, it's just brute force. I don't know, but we finally found something else that like the right hand cannot just, you know, destroy. You know, Stilix's thing was about the rune setup to summon that like flame thing. And even if you could defeat the flame thing, it would not go away. And in this case, the sword techniques, there is limitations to this right hand. <laughs> 
Wires? Oh shit. She's been ready the entire time. I guess not. But she has a magic name. A mage name. Wires. You shouldn't tell us that. Why would you tell us that? That's like your trump card. How the fuck are you gonna tell us that if you get past my shiten, shito, whatever, the seven fucking blades, then the single flash awaits you. Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. What is up with these mage names, huh? Tidix was also being really weird, you know? It's like, I shouldn't give him up mage name or something before, like during fighting or something, right? There, there's some sort of, like, manners or some sort of, like, culture and, like, tradition revolving around the magic, like, the magic name. No. Just run away, maybe. I think, I think Kanza Kanzaki is a softy, bro. This is like the seventh time she's used seven blades, Nanasen. This shit does not hurt him at all. The most damage he's received is a little cut in his arms. She is going so soft on him. I don't, I think she's all, I think she's literally just talking big shit. She could have killed him whenever she wanted. She won't though. <laughs> Another blunt attack. Could have just stabbed him. I know she's trying to make a point and wants to get the index out, but still. I think she's being very soft on us. No. Harder. Step on me harder. I don't care. She said, <laughs> That's enough for me to protect her no matter what. She a softy, man. Yeah, exactly. Multiple times. Because Kanzaki isn't a bad person. I wonder if the cut was a test to see if the walking church actually works. Because we know that the robe would have, you know, protected Index from it, if not Toma canceling out the Divine Miracle, right? It, it, it like, Staida, like, stepping on Index was a bad look. Kanazaki, like, cutting index, like, I know they're gonna be allies in the future. There's no way that these people are actually bad people. But right now, we obviously are doing first impressions. I wonder why she cut her like that. True. True. And the memories could relate to Staida. Oh man, he is yapping. <laughs> Kanzaki looks like so sad for Toma right now, bro. That one look she looked at us like she's like, oh my god. Dude, this guy's like yapping a lot and I actually feel bad for him. Like, yikes. Oh, shit. Oh, god. oh, I look like the bad guy here, don't I? I really look like the bad guy here. Ooh. <laughs> that look away here. That look away right over here, bro. <laughs> I think she's a good person. Hmm. It's not like I what? I want to do this? She's forced to do this? Why? Yeah. We've heard that again from Inde. Yes. Necessary evil. Or a dear friend. But Kansaki would cut down a dear friend? I still feel like she wanted to maybe look like she's doing her job and knew that Index could, you know, defend herself because she has the walking church. But okay. Companions and a dear friend. But I bet Index has forgotten Kansaki. <laughs> This feels really bad. Exactly. The walking church should have protected. But Toma, you know. Um, probably, I don't know who was with Kanzaki, but if there were other observers of, you know, the Sorcerer Society, then I feel like it's, Kanzaki needs to look like she's doing a good job. So like, cutting while knowing that it would not hurt her to make it look like she's still doing her job is my guess. Yeah, because she's a danger. 
She's a threat. One more time. Go back. I know the index is a threat because if anyone has the access to the 103,000 grimoires and the knowledge, you can counter any spells as well. If I don't protect her like that, then she can't go on living. If I don't protect her like that, then she can't go on living. What the fuck does this mean? I'm reading what it says. I understand, but this feels very counterintuitive. Yeah, she can memorize every word of the grimoires. Transition scene. Yeah. Oh, that's why she forgets. I'm like, is there a specific reason why her memory was wiped except the, you know, all the grammar shit? Literally, to just make storage space. She cuts out everything else except the grammars for her purpose, her job. She remembers everything. She remembers literally everything. I see. I am still confused about that because the Church of Necessary Evil existed to hunt down heretics who were probably magic abusers because you know that church exists in england or something like that right i forget exactly where but like england is like it has a lot of magic users right that, that was the explanation given for index but church and sorcerers tell me more because she's obviously lost the memories yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. But that's her conclusion she came to. I thought this had to do with, like, you know, freeing memory space to make sure Index just remembers what she needs to do. But there's maybe a specific reason why this happened beyond that. There it is. They erased them. Tell me. Because it's your job? It's the mission you've been tasked with? Because she doesn't want to do it, but she needs to do it. If I don't kill her, then she will die. No, that's not what she's saying right now. But you could make that assumption because she slashed her. She didn't want to slash her. No, she had to slash her to protect her. I don't fucking know. The church should have basically protected her. That's the entire thing. The slash should have never worked, but Toma fucking canceled it. Right now, Index is being pursued or else she'll die. I can't believe this fucking paper clip. This makes it even more cute, bro. She really had her entire robe just ripped into shreds and then she just pieced it with the three fucking paper clips. Like, what is this shit? Little three pins, bro. It's so fucking cute. Okay. 85% for the grimoires. Alright. Her brain will die. I thought Index forgets shit. I'm fucking confused. They literally told us Index forgets shit. And I thought that was the me automatic memory just like fucking filtration system where you get rid of the unnecessary info and you're cool with it. But it's like, no, actually, she does forget shit. She remembers everything. But beyond that, we also erased her memories. And if there is 15% of the brain capacity that is not freed up, she's going to fucking die. That's, per that's basically what she's telling us. Annual ritual. So right now is that one year mark. They're trying to erase her memories again because if that doesn't happen, then her brain will overload and die. So we actually need to get indexed to get her memories erased. This is so sad, man. This is so sad that like index will always just be this like robot that only knows the grimoire shit and the 15% of the memories that has to do with anything of the bonds that we make or any relationships, like, that's always gone.
And next is even more tragic. Now, wonder if there's a way to solve this problem without erasing the memories. I'm not sure. Could Toma's right hand do anything about it? <laughs> Could Toma's right hand cancel the storage issue and give her more storage? I don't fucking know. Could he erase the memories himself? Maybe. Could we give her more RAM? More dedicated resources? I don't know. There's no way our feelings can be that deep at this point. If we spent like five years with Index and then she shows up and tells us this, I could not let this go. What the fuck do we have with Index, bro? We're four episodes deep. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and the slice of life moments, that's pretty much it. That's the only thing that's like, I want to care. I need to protect Index no matter what. True. What does Toma care about this shit, bro? Toma is a very self-righteous person though, huh? Like, it's very interesting to see like the mental gymnastics that he does in his own head to justify his actions. There's no fucking reason to do this. But like, his entire thing so far is like, I wasn't able to protect the single girl. What am I as a fucking human being, you know? I'm a worthless person and in order to prove myself, I need to save Index. Alright. But like, why? Why are you her friend? There's no need to actually like go too deep into this, right? I have no problems with Toma in pursuing this. I'm just thinking from like the author's perspective of how do they get the main character to actually give a fuck and be basically consumed by the overall plot where their lives have nothing to do with. Yeah. Why not literally just tell Index of this mechanic and leave like a, per like a, a fraction of a percentage of her memories intact? Like sure, 85% of it is a grimoire. 15% is the other information. But could we not use a fraction of a fucking percent just for the memory storage shit so that the Index herself knows what's happening so that she doesn't feel like people are fucking hunting her down? That's very true. That's very true. Soundtrack's going off. It's looking like Kanzaki is the victim here, man. We don't know anything right now. Kanzaki is the victim. Because Taira, I think that he and Index used to hang out or something, right? He said that like you used to be in the same position last episode, but don't forget, he fucking stepped on Index's face, bro. Taira. We cocked him. Fuck. Man. They're all good people and we're the bad people, bro. <sighs> Listen to me, it looked like the dude smoking the cigarette was about to fucking kill her, bro. It, it, what, do you, what do you want to do? He's like stepping on her fucking head? What the fu- Okay, so basically, Stida, he wanted someone to show the resolve to save Index, because he himself cannot save Index. Basically, that's what's happening. He played the villain role, wanted to test out how much resolve does Toma have so that Toma can protect the girl that he himself could not protect. Is that the theme we're going with? Okay, okay. <laughs> Back to the fight. <laughs> Ow. All the memories. I'm so sad. They really care about Index, man. And that's why they're acting so cold and hostile, right? It's just in so many iterations of them taking away the memories and have to build it back up. But at a certain point, you become so disconnected. You become very jaded. That's why they're being so hostile until Toma really bring out the true honest emotions. But it sounds like Kanzaki right now is also just like 
she's basically projecting all her faults at Toma, right? It's not Toma's fault. Toma's just asking some questions because we didn't know fucking anything about this. And they're upset because they couldn't protect Index. Who's going to do it? We will. <laughs> Right hands. He's touching the blade. So you're thinking about yourself. Very true. She's literally complaining about all her woes and miseries after taking memories away from Index, which is totally valid. But what about Index, man? What about Index's feelings? That's a good answer. A great main character answer. <laughs> Bro, this guy. He's not just about the running. His yapping is crazy. Holy shit. The Taka no Jutsu is out of this level of all the main characters that resolve by just talking and confronting ones against securities and the truth. Like, Toma has it all. He understands. Like, this young, stupid kid, maybe he's not so stupid. He is like a fucking psychologist, like a therapist. He is literally breaking down the situation, explaining to her. <laughs> Toma, what happened? Too many steps to the stomach. Why does she look so fucking beaten down? It just, it just looks like she's so tired after all that. She got tired of getting yapped at and like hitting Toma. That's it. It looks like she actually took damage even though we didn't do fucking anything to her. Yeah, she ranted and she got tired after just stabbing Toma with the fucking blunt sheath. Oh, someone's coming. I hear such stuff. It's tired. He heard all that? He heard all that. Smoking's bad for you kids. Don't do it. Oh shit, it's the railgun girl. She really loves role-playing. Onesama, Onesama. That's what Kanzaki did. Kanzaki. <laughs> this is a prank? <laughs> Judgment? That's what that is on your armband? She's like discipline committee of the school, but maybe of the entire city? Judgment day is upon us. Index! <laughs> she stands out like a sore thumb, man. <laughs> Index needs to get some better- like, like... <laughs> Can you guys tell who the important character is in this frame? Like, not only does she have colorful hair, like, her entire outfit. The walking church doesn't even fucking work anymore. Just change to a different civilian clothing. This isn't even armor. <laughs> Misaka and Index's first encounter, I guess. Back at Sensei's place. <laughs> Yo. And the craziest thing is, Index can't even heal Toma because his mere presence will cancel out the magic. None of the magic healing will ever work on Toma. Three days has passed. Wow. Kanzaki fucked you up. Oh, that's it. That's the three days. I just realized it's it's the three days. Today's the day. The memory erasure. Toma, how did you get it? Uh oh. Index your memories. I don't remember my 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 memories. Komoi was also the one who carried you. Just, just like the image in my head of Sensei, the little tiny Sensei carrying Toma. Is like, he, she probably dragged him. She, she probably just dragged his hands. There's, there's no way she fucking carried him. She's so fucking tiny, bro. 
トーマが他の魔術師と戦うも考えないで。私は。It's not your fault, baby girl. なんだよ、このぐるぐる巻きの包帯。ちょっと大げさすぎるんじゃね。一応、直すためにはそうしとかないとね。魔術みたいにはいかん。大丈夫だな。<笑>トーマ、信じてないんだね。片思いちゃんみたいに固くななんだよ。あ、クラッシュ。そういうお前が魔術語ってる時の。あ、oh, んま見たくねえからな。私、また目覚めてたんだ。目覚めた。あ、oh, り突っ込んでほしくないかな。意識がない時の声で恥ずかしいからね。なんだかだいたい。怖いんだよ。いいんだよ、バカ。あ、ベル。イエス。あ、さん。うん。私はシスターさんなので、完璧くらいでき。What does she make? A toxic sludge. Nande? Shokuyo kunai? Bruh. Bruh. How hot is that? Index, you dummy. You spilled porridge on my head. Oh. Hi. Maybe we should just take this bitch to the fucking sorcerer's side and get this shit fucking wiped out. <laughs> Maybe, 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 maybe the, the church knows what they're fucking doing, bro. Uh oh, Sensei! Kanzaki! Sensei, no! Sensei, don't open the fucking door for Kanzaki! I can see her face! Oh! Sensei, no! Open them right here. It's the third day after all. あいつらから一人で逃げてきたんだ。サンシャクが怖い。けど、追うことになれば話は違う。インデックスをより安全でに。これを。帰ってから。私ならどこへでも行くから。私なら何でもするから。本当に。本当にお願いだから。もうどうも傷つけないで。And it's kind of fucked up, right? Cause like it's very fucked up. Cause these two are like. Super close to Index before, but the members got wide. Like, he was pretty much Tomo back in the day for, like, you know, I don't know how long. And now they got a collector and she remembers fucking nothing. It's, it's actually pretty tragic, this whole memory system. <laughs> Who's the real victim here, man? Who's the real victim here? And that's today's episode. And who is the real victim, guys? Should we feel upset for Kanzaki and Staida? Oh no. It's like we have to take their memories away again. I'm gonna feel so sad. Or should we feel sad for fucking Index and Tomo? Maybe we should sad, feel sad for everybody. I don't know. It's just like, now we know a little bit more of the truth of this world, right? The Magic Cabal, quote unquote, doesn't exist. But I don't necessarily think that just because Index is getting our memories erased, that there isn't other factions that's after the Grimoires to use, learn all the spells and be able to counter too. I think that is still on the line. But basically, the reason the memory is going away is because they have to do it on an annual basis. If they don't, if the brain capacity goes beyond 100%, right? Because 85 is for the grimoires. 15% is day-to-day -day activities. If it exceeds that, I guess she will just die. That's what these people from the sorcerers, well, the church is doing, right? These dudes are... So does a sorcerer's association exist? Well, Kanzaki is from Necessarius. Maybe there's a part of faction in that. They do have mage names, so... Yeah, I, I guess so. Right now, Toma is injured. Right hand is injured. I think that there could be some amazing moments that can happen when Toma has his right hand injured because obviously we need the right hand. But beyond that, if there's an injury and it prevents him from using it, there could be like a really amazing main character moment where he says, fuck the injuries and he like sacrifices himself and uses the right arm to like have a huge main character moment, which I could definitely see, but it's looking pretty bad. They're gonna take index away, but the memory still has to be solved. One way or the other, we either need to erase the memories, or we need to figure out a way to, like, surpass this memory resource problem. Stick it with the fucking... Just like an SD? I, I, I don't know. Maybe Toma can, like, retain some of her memories, just like just us? Because if index just forgets everything, then it's gonna be sad what happens to the past episodes. Or maybe we're just gonna erase and continue to move forward and show index, like, a happy future, like Toma proposed against the conversation with Kanzaki, but... That's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.